I think a lot of you who are watching from abroad will find this a kind of a weird dish because it's not a part of the animal that we normally would eat. Well, a it's lot not, of Chinese it's not, it's not yucky food though. isn't what you eat in England or America or Australia anyway. It's quite a delicacy Beef and it's quite, hard, it's quite hard to buy. Pork cartilage, it's not stuff that the English or the Australian would eat. Yeah, but they're good stuff like pork the cartilage, stuff. beef tendon, they're really good for and you. fish more, like sea cucumber, that thing that's long and... Not very good looking. Yes, you wouldn't eat that in Australia as an Australian or the English wouldn't eat that because it just looks a bit weird and it's a texture you're unfamiliar with. Mm. So likewise, today we have fish more with Chinese mushroom and spring onion, garlic and... garlic. <laughs> it's... Ginger. Oh my, it's garlic, I said ginger earlier. Oh really? Spring onion, garlic and... garlic. We did all this stuff to braise the tendon of a pig's trotter. Pig's legs. Pig trotter tendon. Yeah. It's actually really nice. It's, it's like beef tendon, but a bit more chewy. Damon loves it. And it's, yeah, very tasty. And it's very, very hard to get. Whether it's tasty or not really depends on my cooking. So it's tasty because I made it tasty for you to eat. Thank you very much. Sarah's cooking is amazing. Amazing. Apparently, Sarah who wanted to share this dish ages ago, but totally conflicted because once she does, all the tendon of the pig's feet are gonna get sold out. And it's so hard to buy. It's hard to buy as it is, so. So once we promote this dish, even though we're really chummy with the market owner, we will have massive difficulty buying the tendon of the pig's feet, but sharing is caring. Okay, so we've chosen the area that has a little bit of pork as well. When there's a little bit of pork attached, there's just more flavor. Um, so now I'm just gonna give it a light pan fry to brown it. Uh, there's no fat here, so you don't have to worry. It looks white and it kind of almost looks like fat, but it's not. Damon loves this dish and so does my mother-in-law, love, and me and Jason, we love it. Just worried that we'll finish it before they can have any tomorrow. Yeah, I love it, like beef tendon, it's very juicy. If it's made well, Damon and I fight, it's horrible. Obviously, I lose every single time, every single time. Little drizzle of wine, just Chinese white cooking wine. So it takes away that gamey pork smell. Today, we have one, two, three cameras in action. I'm doing nothing but all the camera work. And eating. <laughs> if you imagine each pig only has four feet and four tendons that are stuck to that feet, so, we have a massive plate full of this deliciousness, so it's very difficult to get. Please, if you're buying the tendons for the pork feet, don't guess it at Typo Market. Don't tell them where we get it from. Damon's <laughs> not gonna have any tube of gun. <coughs> so I've, I've added extra oil, just a really little bit. It's like less than one tablespoon. I'm going to add the garlic because everything's good with garlic and a little bit of ginger so I didn't marinate or season the tendons beforehand because when you kind of braise it now you're going to add flavour so it'll have a lot of flavour when the dish is done so a couple of grinds of the pepper shaker, the salt shaker, and just a hint of the chicken stock. Just very little. A little. Just on low heat is fine. 
Uh, don't turn the heat up too much because it'll burn. A little bit of soy sauce. I've used uh, sweet soy. Tablespoon of oyster sauce. I don't really like to measure, so I kind of go with my gut feeling. Extra little bit of wine. So you don't have to worry about whether you're putting too little or too much wine. It's just to add that extra little bit of flavor and a lot of the times the alcohol evaporates. So we added a bit of water. After the water, we're going to add the Chinese mushrooms that have been soaked and have exploded. Exploded, expanded. Doubled in size overnight. Mm -hmm. So actually there's a lot of flavor already just by using the ingredients I just told you. Sometimes I feel like I need to add more water because once you boil the sauce down, it gets saltier. Now more water because the flavors are getting so concentrated. It's just too flavorful. Where's my lid? Where's my lid? What a load of joke. No lid. I need a new pot. Can someone sponsor me a new pot? All she needs is a new lid. Okay, fine. Now, while this is freezing, I actually have a job for Mr. Chan. And guess what it is? Clean. No, you can help me cut the fish more. Oh, yeah, good enough. Can I just tell you what size I want the fish more? Okay, so fish more, not too small, okay? I want each piece to be about this big because once you braise it, it goes. Don't you just love Sarah's set of chopping boards? Isn't it just lovely? We've got blue and white and green and blue. Okay, watch this, okay. Just chew my mind. Oh, yeah. Okay. Mm, very good. Very saucy. Mm. Uh, I think we can uh, have a coffee break. You know this what? It's like a cigarette break, though. Because Not that we smoke. We don't. <laughs> no, it's not stopping. <laughs> okay. You don't want to put the fish mall in too early because if you put it in too early, it kind of shrinks and it boils away, like all the collagen goes into the sauce. And if you really like eating fish mall, which I really do, and Jason really does too. And uh, Damon loves it. Yeah, uh, I'd Much say- Much more than this tendon of the pork's feet. Yeah, I think he <laughs> likes the sauce. Why do you say pork tendon? So our son has become a bit of a, a foodie. So if you put it in for like the last 10 to 15 minutes, it should soak up enough of the sauce to make it really tasty, but not or disappear into the sauce. I'm gonna add some extra ginger into the dish now because fish more tends to be a little bit fishy. <laughs> so the ginger can help get rid of that fishy smell and taste. You see how the sauce is thickened? Collagen from the pork tendons. This is pre fish maw. Now for more water. Some people like to add chicken stock at this stage, but we think, she thinks, there's enough flavour. If there isn't, later you can add the sweet soy sauce or the Oyster sauce. The oyster sauce. Another 15 minutes of braising and I think we're good to go. Now, the moment you have been waiting for. Ta-da! I think the taste is on point, it's perfect. But I'm just gonna add a little bit of dark soy sauce for a little bit of extra color. Okay. 
do it again. Can you still have three of the count? She's not well, man. Oh, can you smell it? Last but not least, we're gonna add the spring onion, shallot, whatever you like to call it, in to give it a little bit more color and more flavor. Oh yeah. Mmm. 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 There is a little bit of fat stuck to the tendon, but we added hardly any oil to the dish, so all in all, it's fairly healthy. Very little fat though. Mm, mm. Okay, let's try the fish more. Sometimes when I cook fish more, I think it's a little bit too soft. I quite like it like now, where it's still one whole piece. Mm. It's lovely. I think in a sandwich on a slice of toast. Mm. Oh Hope you all enjoy this dish. No wonder your skin looks so good all the time, darling. Turn that off. Sometimes it's not that good. You're so good. Oh, sorry, yeah. Why? It's not that good. Yeah. 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 Yeah.